Hello you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth and my YouTube channel is Miss Ruth. Today you guys, today, today, today is a beautiful day once again. Thanks to God for seeing this kind of beautiful day. So today as you can see, I'm on the way. This baby girl here, she's called Shalim. We're going, I am going to dip and she's going to school. She's on a rehearsal day today. Today is on Friday. So she's going to do a rehearsal. She's going to do her examination. Please you guys wish her, wish her success on her examination. So as for me, I'm going to dip. I don't know if you know what that is, but that's what I'm telling you. We're going I'm going to show you how the kettles are being washed so that the ticks are going to come out. That's that's exactly what's going to to happen. So you guys, let's go. Actually, I don't have the kettles with me. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing there, but yo, you guys, I'm just going. I just want to show you this kind of unique thing that actually happens in the village. The light is horrible, yeah. So let's get going, you guys. So you guys, this is the road to the deep. As you can see, I am. I, there is some kettles in front of me that I'm just following. Yeah, and I'm just on the way. It's actually a long way to go. And that is a motorbike over there coming. But I hope we're going to reach there. So it's kind of fine. And I hope I'm also not late because if I'm late, I'm going to be doomed. Yeah, and I have to show you this thing today. It has to be today, you guys. You guys, where? the lighting is horrible right now. These are the shops where we buy our things. This is where we buy our things. And this was a, a baba shop, but it's now closed. This was also was a shop, but I guess the, the owners left in now the house. Can you see the bats over there and the chicken? You guys. That is the farm over there. The lighting is just you. I don't know if you can see what I'm showing you. We got a long way to go, you guys. Guys, have you ever seen sugarcane plantation? Do you see the green part over there? That is sugarcane plantation. In our village, we do plant sugarcane and we plant maize. But for now, the maize has been harvested. And so it's now the sugarcane and maybe the veggies. Yeah. Actually, we plant once. When you're planting maize, we plant it once. Like, we just plant it on April. We harvest it on August, November. August, September, November there. And then... The thing is done so we just plant once in once in a year and for the for the sugar cane for the sugar cane it's different because like you plant it it also finishes a year but when you're planting it from the beginning it uh, look at that when you're planting it from the beginning you it stays for one year and then it gets to be harvested and then you will be waiting for one year and then you harvest and then for another one year then you harvest i think you it's supposed to be four times before it's being plucked out of the farm can you guys see the kettles <sighs> you guys i'm tired and i'm not even halfway this place is far you it's really far but i hope i'm going to get there soon
workers, these are not the shops that are close to our home. Like when, when you maybe want something from the shop, at the ones I show you there, then you don't find it. This is where you should be coming. You can get And then you have a whole set on the deep. I'm also going to show you that one. But that one is really very far. You guys, we're still on the way going. This one is a church, you guys. It's, I guess it's a Pentecostal church. I'm not even sure. And it's a school too. Like it's a church and a school as well. well the school is in front there. I don't know if you can see it. The light is killing everything. Here, guys, we have two churches. We have the SBA church, and then the one I just, I just showed you right now. Uh, I'm going to show you the Adventist church as well. The Adventist church is an SBA <coughs> church. That's someone from over there. And then look at these trees here, guys. They just make the whole thing beautiful. It's so big. I'm breathing like something else. Hey, hey. I was telling you about the sugar cane. You did, it was far. Now look at it. It's kinda close. Look at it. Hope you can see it properly. Can you even see it properly, you guys? Oh. This is the SDA church I was telling you guys. The light is killing the whole thing here. Honey. Oh. That was a church, but it's done now. Like, if it needs to be repaired, I don't know if you can see it properly. Guys, this is the place I was telling you. This is now the trip. The cases are coming from there. Those are the sheep. They're just going to jump in there. Actually, you guys, in here you say before looking the kettles. This is to prevent them from having ticks. Yeah. So when they jump in there, the ticks are going to die. This is the swimming pool for the kettles. Look at them. So you guys, when the kettles get here, they are going to stand for so that they 
leaves so that they get dry so that they will stand like one minute or two so that and then the gate is going to be open and then they go home. Guys, actually, I didn't even have the courage to talk. I was still a little shy when talking, especially in the place that there is a, there are a lot of people. But I hope you've seen the entire thing. I'm so happy too that I filmed everything there. I told you earlier that we are supposed to to pay for the kettles. It depends on the amount of the kettles you have. If you have like six of them, you're going to pay for every. Every kettle, that's how you actually hawks. You pay for them, and then I guess it's forty bob per cow, and it's thirty bob per if you have a a calf. So that's how it actually works. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed the the whole video, and I still have my girl with me here. Actually, she had worn a sandals i don't know if you can see she had worn sandals and it's not supposed to you are not supposed to wear sandals when you are going to school and the other thing is uh her nails are she polished her nails you know so the her nails are red in color and that's very wrong you're not supposed to be doing that when you're at school so she's been told go make your nails good and you put on shoes you're not supposed to go to school with sandals do your schools also do that in your villages or even anywhere? I'm sure that's actually the rules of the schools. You're supposed to follow them. And yeah. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed the entire thing. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate that. Welcome once again when I post another one. And please watch my other videos. Don't forget to give the video a like, thumbs up and share. And also don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day guys. Bye.